Hi, we're here with um, instructions how to change the LCD screen on a Dell N5110. Now, you can work anywhere you want, but I like to. Pre I prefer working on a towel that way screws don't roll off or anything. First, you want to make sure the battery is out completely. So you want to take that off, and you, on, on this one, you just slide both of them back, and it should pop right out. There we go. And you can just put that aside till the end. Now most screens have screws on these sides to pull off, but this laptop doesn't, this model. So you need to to take off the bevel to expose the L C D, you have to just snap it off. And that's a little bit tricky, but you just put your fingers on the inside. And you can pop it right back, and it seems seems forceful, but you'll just hear a snap every time you do it. And you just move, keep moving on. There we go. And there we, there is the LCD screen. Exposed, and you can just put this aside. You won't need this till the end. So we'll just put it back. Okay, so now that we got the bevel edging removed. We've exposed the LCD screen, and as you can tell, Dell is a bit unique with most things, so they don't simply have four screws on the side, they have a bracket that covers the screws. Now this bracket is held in place by two screws right here on the top. So first we want to unscrew these two screws to expose the four screws on the sides. So we'll start. Now you can push the LCD back a little bit, and you can see there's one screw here and one on the bottom. And the same on this side. So we can start on those screws. We'll start with the right side. It's nice and it's not you're not getting damaged at all. So then you can just pull these tabs right off a little bit. And the first thing up here is going to be the webcam connector. And you just want to disconnect this gently. And to do that, you just have to disconnect it, pull it down a little bit. Let's see. Yep, there's going to be a white. There's two white tabs. You just want to pull it down. It'd be easier to just, nice and easier to just get a screwdriver or something and just pull on the other side of the tab. You just pull it down. Now we have that open. It just goes right in. The white tab is on this side. And that's going to be exposed when you see it. And if you just, you can push it down with your nail. And then the laptop screen will just come right over, right down. Now there's only one connector on this one. And that's right here. And then you have the webcam one. This whole thing is going to need to come off when you remove it. So first we'll start by kind of pulling off the webcam. Because this has to go on the new lamp, on the new screen. So that'll be right there. We'll just put that right. We'll just leave it be. And now we have this one here. There's some adhesive tape. So let's just take that off. I think it's going to be a little bit gentle, but the fact that this screen is broken and it probably doesn't don't have any use for it again means I can be a little bit rougher. Try to take the tape off. Okay. And then you see the tape comes off slowly. And with this just comes right off with that tape. Now we have this part off. We'll pull this off. And down here. And now the screen is completely exposed. It comes right out. As you can see, this was the screen. And we can just put that aside. And when you get a new screen, it'll come in a box. And inside will be Nice protection for it, and you can just slide it out, and there's a new screen. So, we'll put that face down, and take off the protection cover.
Now it looks like this has a nice screen protector on there too, so if you don't have a towel, this should be fine. But I still personally like using a towel anyway. So we'll start by connecting the video display first. And this will just snap in. You just have to push it in a bit. It's you can see it kind of it fits in. It, it you it would kind of slide in. So you slide in, slide in, twist it right in. There you go, and you hear a snap, and it's in perfectly. Not very hard. And then the webcam, you can. Well, you can tape everything on right now. As it, because it should already be a, had the adhesive from before from the other screen, so it just sticks right on, and then the webcam goes right up to the top. Okay, now that we have the video connector in properly, next is the webcam. And this is the trickiest part, but it's not very hard. You just have to, for this to reach, the laptop screen has to be propped up a little bit. You can just put it on its frame in the, in the actual laptop. And then this will just go right in. And it just slides in. You can just push the tab in from one side. Just like that, and it just slides right in. It has a very faint click, you could feel it. And then, and then the laptop just goes right in this frame. It's a little bit tricky, but you can get it. This side end. You have to pull out the tab a little, give it some room, there we go. Now it's in completely. Now we just have to screw back in the other screws. And I arranged, and when I put the screws aside, I put them in, in a square so I know exactly on which part it goes. Just to make sure every screw goes back to where it started. Start by putting this left one in. Okay, now before we move on to the top screw, putting in the frame completely, it's time to take off the cover because the tape runs along the side of the laptop. So you can just pull that right off. And this is this side. There we go. Well, it looks like the, not, the screen fell off the frame a little bit. Okay, so now we move on to the top screw. Right there. This, the screws that go on the top ones, top two, are much bigger than the ones that go on the side. So if you do happen to drop them all or somehow misplace them, just that's good to know. Just know these ones are the bigger ones. And now we'll move on to the very final screw. And finally, and that is it with the screw. You can take the towel off, you don't need it anymore. Now we just have to snap on the bevel edge. And this is the easiest part, you just line it up and push it all in. It's a nice finale to the whole process. Just go around it completely, make sure everything's snapped in. And you'll hear a lot of snaps. And the bottom is 
There's a one snap in the middle that you might miss, so we just double check that. You could put a hand behind the laptop, support it as you push it in a little. Okay. Everything feels snapped in. So next we're just gonna put the battery back in just to turn it on, check it to make sure it's working. And then we've done it right. And the battery should snap right in. Maybe you just slide it right in. Put it back on and just turn it on. And the screen is working perfectly. Thank you for staying with the tutorial and I hope yours goes as smoothly as this one.